Hello and welcome to the Navy STP Tech Talk for Anthem. Anthem is an E-band millimeter wave integrated circuit technology based on a novel semiconductor device process that uses nitrogen polar gallium nitride on sapphire high electron mobility transistors. Anthem enables cost-efficient and high-performance integration of a low-noise amplifier, power amplifier, and transmit-receive switch on a single chip for E-band transceiver applications. Anthem is developed by Maxcentric Technologies and is funded by a Phase II SBIR contract with the Office of Naval Research. My name is Gustav Nyland, and I am a member of the technical staff here at Maxcentric. In this 10-minute presentation, I will outline the Navy challenge that Anthem is addressing, the key advantages of the Anthem solution, and the operational improvements that Anthem could lead to if successful. I will also describe the current status of the technology and the planned transition strategy beyond Phase 2. Maxcentric Technologies is an advanced technology research, development, and service firm founded in 2003. We are industry leaders in radio frequency technology and high-speed wireless communications devices. We have offices in Fort Lee, New Jersey, San Diego, California, and Boulder, Colorado that provide design and manufacturing services for both military and commercial customers. Maxcentric is based entirely in the United States and has a proven track record of successful SBIR technology transitions. Maxcentric's wide range of products include wireless systems such as digital phased arrays, reconfigurable radios for small UAV and radar, digital signal processing platforms, such as digital beamforming and software-defined radios, advanced circuits and transceiver systems such as envelope tracking power amplifiers and millimeter wave MMICs, and wireless low-power biomedical systems such as contactless continuous-use vital sign monitors. Maxcentric's Anthem technology was conceived, proposed, and developed in response to SBIR topic N211-086, announced in January of 2021. The objective of this topic is to demonstrate robust, high-performance, low-noise amplifiers, or LNAs, operating at E-band, specifically the 81 to 86 gigahertz frequency range. The LNAs are required to use a native growth nitrogen polar gallium nitride epitaxy process on a low-cost substrate that can be scaled to diameters of 150 millimeters and above. Performance-wise, the LNAs are required to have a gain of at least 15 decibels and a noise figure of no more than 3.5 decibels. The primary expected transition target for the technology is transceiver applications for military and commercial systems operating at E-band, for example, next-generation satellite communication links. Current state-of-the-art gallium nitride-based integrated circuit technologies are very expensive, with a significant portion of the cost coming from the use of small-diameter silicon carbide substrates. To enable large-scale production and adoption of E-band MMIC systems, alternative, more affordable device technologies need to be developed. Maxcentric's Anthem technology addresses this need by utilizing a cutting-edge nitrogen polar gallium nitride on sapphire device process. This process uses low-cost, large-diameter sapphire substrates, which reduce gallium nitride MMIC fabrication costs by up to six times compared to conventional gallium nitride on silicon carbide processes. It also enables integration of a low-noise amplifier, a power amplifier, and a transmit-receive switch in a single epitaxial structure, which reduces transceiver integration costs by as much as 50%. Anthem's key innovation is the combination of a high-performance, gallium nitride-based E-band device technology with a scalable, low-cost fabrication process. Anthem uses nitrogen polar gallium nitride high-electron mobility transistors which offer state-of-the-art noise performance, power handling, efficiency, and linearity. These devices are fabricated on large-diameter sapphire substrates, which significantly reduces fabrication costs. This enables cost-efficient integration of a high-performance low-noise amplifier, a power amplifier, and a transmit-receive switch on a single semiconductor chip for E-band transceiver applications. Anthem development is progressing as planned. During Phase 1, 
transistor devices were fabricated and characterized. During phase two, which is currently ongoing, the LNA and switch circuit layouts are being designed using device models developed in phase one. Simulated circuit performance meets the required specifications. MMIC prototype fabrication is scheduled to begin in late 2023 with prototype testing planned for spring 2024. Anthem is currently at TRL3 and is expected to be at TRL4, component validation in a laboratory environment, at the end of phase two. Anthem development is fully funded by an SBIR phase two base contract through July 2024. Maxcentric has identified a suitable program of record electromagnetic systems applied research as a potential transition path for phase three and beyond. This program contains a solid state electronics effort, which explicitly aims to fund, quote, development and transition of n-polar GAN-based high electron mobility transistor technology for advanced highly linear receivers and efficient transmitters, end quote. Maxcentric believes our Anthem technology would be an excellent fit for this program. In short, compared to existing gallium nitride-based MMIC technologies, Anthem offers higher performance in a more compact form factor at a lower cost. The use of a nitrogen polar gallium nitride device process offers lower noise, higher power density, and higher efficiency, enabling a reduction in size, weight, and power consumption of E-band transceivers. The use of large diameter sapphire substrates offers more cost-efficient MMIC production and scaling, enabling a six times reduction in MMIC fabrication cost. Integration of low noise amplifier, power amplifier, and transmit receive switch on a single chip lowers cost and system footprint, enabling a 50% reduction in transceiver integration cost. Currently, phased arrays are one of the most expensive components in modern wireless infrastructure equipment. Lowering the cost of these components will enable wide-scale deployment of high-performing systems, providing real-time tactical data and information sharing between ships and aircraft. Maxcentric has identified several potential applications for our Anthem technology in both military and commercial markets. Global spending on military communication systems is predicted to grow to $36.7 billion in 2026. SATCOM systems, which is our primary transition target, will account for 37.2% of this market. Anthem is also well suited for a range of existing and emerging military applications at E-Band, including signal intelligence, electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Potential commercial applications, in addition to SATCOM, include short-range, high-speed wireless backhaul links, such as home networks and last-mile wireless broadband delivery. E-band device development is also expected to enable future high-resolution imaging and sensing systems, with applications in surveillance, science, and the automotive industry. Maxcentric will invite interested parties, both military and commercial, to review Anthem prototype performance at the end of Phase 2. Based on feedback from potential clients, Maxcentric will customize the Anthem transceiver module specifications to satisfy the requirements of the target applications. Main potential clients include, but are not limited to, the Department of Defense and commercial telecommunications companies. If you are interested in Maxcentric's Anthem technology, please do not hesitate to contact us. If you have technical questions, you can reach out to me, Gustav Nylund. For business inquiries, please contact Maxcentric's Managing Director, Human Gajari. Finally, if you are interested in our other products and technologies, please visit our website at www.maxcentric.com. This concludes the presentation of the Anthem STP effort. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Have a great day.